Now, speaking of shoulder pads, you can also do this with shoulder pad placement. So let's talk about if we alt tap our body here, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate him off. And at any point, I'm gonna hold down shift and turn off the eyeball for everything so we just have this object here. You can always go back to geometry, dynamesh, just re-dynamesh it, say no, you don't want to free subdivision levels, and you're just back here to a dynamesh mesh. So if you want to duplicate something off and go through here and start concept sculpting on here to make a backpack or whatever, and then pop these pieces off, mask it, and split, that's totally fine. Another thing you can do, this one thing we did talk about, if we hold down control shift and go into slice curve, I can slice a shape here. Now it's not going to go on the other side, but again you already know that if I do a deformation mirror across the X and then geometry modified topology mirror and weld, it'll go to both sides. So now I have a shoulder pad mesh on both sides and because I sliced it I have a very clean cut. So now we can go down here to geometry modified topology delete hidden. We'll do a zero mesher half adapt size down to zero and just zero mesh this result. So instead of extracting, what we can do is very quickly just get nice shoulder pad geometry, go through here with our Z modeler brush, Q mesh polygroup all, pull this out, and now we have a new shoulder pad. So if I hold down shift and turn the eyeball on, now we have sh new shoulder pad geometry. Now let's say I wanted to sculpt this symmetrically on his shoulder. There is a way I can kind of do that. If I go over here to transform, and I say activate symmetry in the Z direction, which is front to back, and I turn on LSIM, I can make this kind of symmetrical. Right now it isn't, but I can go in here to geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld in the Z direction, and you're gonna see, because I have LSIM turned on, it's gonna mirror it across the bounding box of the object. If I have LSIM off and I do a mirror and weld, it's gonna do it across the world axis, so it's gonna go across here. But again, with LSIM turned on, mirror and weld, it'll mirror through here. So now I can go into my standard brush here and sculpt symmetrically. So if I wanna go down to Dynamesh, Dynamesh this object and say, use my standard brush to go through and start sculpting on here, I can. Now, I wanna make sure I have X symmetry turned on. So I can go in here to transform. I can do activate symmetry in the X and Z. I'm gonna do a quick mirror, deformation mirror, geometry modified topology, mirror and weld in the X and Z. So now when I sculpt on my shoulder pad here, it'll be symmetrical on both axes. However, the placement's kind of off. Really, if I wanna go through here, I'm gonna turn off X symmetry temporarily. I want the shoulder pad to be like kind of at an angle because that fits him better. There's a way we can do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap X to go out of X symmetry. I'm just going to grab one side here. And if you remember, we can just go up here to control shift, select rectangle, grab one shoulder pad. Again, geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. So now I've got a shoulder pad in my scene. I'm going to go down here to deformation unify, hit W, go to unmash mesh center, and I'll hold down alt and reset orientation. So I'm just gonna rotate this so that it's facing my camera here. And it's generally down the middle of my scene. If I turn on the floor and turn on Z, you can see here's the mid line here. So if I do a quick geometry modified topology mirror and weld across the X axis now, now it's symmetrical in the X axis. And I don't need LSIM turned on to do that. I want it across the world axis. So if I turn on X symmetry now and you know go through and sculpt on this, we turn our transform back to just X symmetry here. You're gonna see, we can now sculpt symmetrically on this object. However, I wanna see it on his shoulder, not just have it in the middle of the world. So what I can do is, I'm gonna go out of dynamics here. Let's go into our macro. Let's drag this over here. And under macros, there is a create instance subtool. So I'm gonna snap my camera to the front. I'm gonna hit create instance subtool. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hide my original mesh that I was sculpting on and give me a new mesh. Only this mesh isn't real. You're gonna see if I try to sculpt on it, it won't let me do anything. And in fact, if I go down here now to nano mesh, you're gonna see it's a nano mesh. So if I turn on show placement, you're gonna see it's actually just a plane here. 
So let's turn off show placement, let's hit W, let's go out of solo mode, and let's just position this shoulder pad where it should go in my scene. So if I want to go through here and scale this down and kind of position it wherever it should go. And if you look here, it's at, it's, uh, it also has fit turned on, which means I can put the shoulder pad where it needs to go. And I can also control drag off a copy and I can even scale this down and use it as an elbow pad if I want. Now you may be thinking, okay, that's great, but now what if you want to sculpt on it? Well, that's when you go in here to Edit Mesh, and by default, you need to turn on X Symmetry, and this still has, it's still a DynaMesh, and DynaMesh resolution is still on. However, I, it did make it quite a bit bigger, so when I control drag, it's going to make it much more dense. So you may need to turn that DynaMesh resolution down just a bit, but while I sculpt on here, you're going to see it's going to update on the fly in my scene. So as I go through here, and start sculpting this mesh, and I go through here with maybe trim dynamic, and put in a little bevel here, use my move brush, control drag to redyna mesh. It all updates on the fly as I'm sculpting. In fact, I can go in here to BI, brush insert, or go in here to my comma key. Let's go back in here to brush, insert IMM, grab the dragon bones again, hit M, Grab a horn, pull horns on here, and again, it's going to update on the fly. Uh, this is all DynaMesh here, so let's go ahead and just, we can turn on LSIM if we want to scale this on this local axis here. Control drag, control drag again. Change that transition a little bit, and you're going to see, if we go out of Edit Mesh, these have all been updated. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I want this over here on this side? Well, if we turn on Show Placement, you're going to see they're just planes. So all I can do is turn off LSIM, because you want to go across the world axis. You're going to do a Geometry Modified Topology Mirror and Weld across the X, and then you're going to see I have planes over here. Now, this, they're a little bit off. You see, these ones look right, these ones don't. What you need to do is go in your Z Modeler brush, BZM, hover over a face, turn off X Symmetry, and over on this face, we're going to say Spin Edges. So we're going to Spin Edges, or Unmask first. So we're going to click 1, 2, 3, and then back on this one, 1, 2, 3. And now they look the same on both sides. I can go back into NanoMesh, turn off Show Placement, go back in here to Edit Mesh. And now, as I go through here and Sculpt, let's go ahead and turn on X Symmetry. You're going to see it's going to update on both sides at the same time. Now, if you notice you're seeing a, a little bit of drop in performance, if you have a lot of instances over here and you're working with very high resolution geometry, what you can do while you're working is turn off Show Instances. This will speed it up a little bit, so you can very quickly go through here. You'll get a little bit more performance out of your sculpt while you're working. And then if you're ready to see them again, just turn on Show Instances again, and they'll pop right back in there. Then you can go out of Edit Mesh, and you're right back where you started. Now, going back to the fiber mesh in MicroPoly, let's do a really quick pass on fiber mesh functionality. So we'll go through here, and I don't suppose, well, we can keep these shoulder pads if we want, but let's say, you know what, I don't really want these elbow pads anymore. So I can turn on Show Placement, and again, these are just planes. So I can hold down Control Shift and Alt, get rid of those planes, say Geometry, Modify, Topology, Delete, Hidden, and now they're gone. We can turn Show Placement off, and I can continue to work on these as needed.